guys, this is your girl JVB. How you doing? My name is Jacqueline Van Bierk. I'm a singer, songwriter, I'm an artist, I'm a composer, and I have a podcast, uh, the Gypsy Soul Podcast, the stories that bind us. And of course, I'm working on a lot of music at the moment, and I just wanted to pop in and wish you a happy new year. Um, it's Monday, and I normally do Monday motivation, and honestly, it's been kind of like I'm just collecting my, my, my thoughts and I'm doing a lot of yoga and meditation to really keep myself in check. Um, and I wanted to share that with you guys because there's a lot of things going on that we quite frankly have no control over. Um, all the censorship stuff on the social media sites, all the new lovely beautiful rules and regulations for Instagram and Facebook. Um, so, you know, the fact checking stuff and um, it so reminds me of my life back in East Germany and I'm ah, I'm just so excited to like get back to what I ran away from. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> so yeah, um, I, I'm sure you are too. <laughs> um, what can I say, right? So, but the thing is, we have control over our bodies, our minds. So although, you know, we are encouraged to believe what we are told and do as we are told, I strongly suggest in your own private space, think for yourself and take care of yourself. So, I've been doing a lot of Kundalini yoga and Kundalini is just such a powerful yoga technique um, that really works your nervous system. It's like it, it, it can actually alter your DNA if you really practice this for a long time and intensely and, and vigorously. Um, so I encourage you to join me in the new year. I'll be posting Kundalini yoga is very long. Um, all the classes I'm taking, which I'm enjoying very much but most of the time those classes uh, last like an hour and a half to like sometimes two hours um, because there's a lot to be done uh, there's a lot of talking and and thought provoking ideas not even thought provoking just like reality riffing stuff um, on what's happening and keeping our mind in check and working our chakras and and not get totally caught up in in the outside world but what I'm going to be doing is in the new year I'm going to con condense some of those exercises into just like a three minute exercise um, every week that you can do um, every day and then I'll add each week another exercise to it so that at the end you know you may end up doing 40 minutes or something or you, if you're really very busy um, then just do three minutes. It's still effective to do something every day um, that helps you strengthen your immune system, strengthens your nervous system, and calms your mind and keeps you centered um, and more inward than outward, where you just like so easily distracted and so easily um, triggered by things. Because, and I'm guilty of it too, I've you know, when I read all those regulations uh, with the beautiful Instagram and Facebook, I was just livid. I was like, oh my God, you know, because in a way, they've got us, you know. We are so addicted to all these platforms that who wants to get off it, you know. So we are just putting our hands up and saying, sure, yeah, I'll do whatever. You can own my ass and you can own everything like that I post, all my pictures and my camera. You can listen to me anytime anywhere you can watch me have sex um you can watch my children run around naked even though i don't have any children my dog is always naked well actually she has fur anyway um so i got really mad and thankfully i was doing my rama tv yoga and and she talked about that and i realized you know what yes this is just the way it is and there's nothing i can do about it but i can choose to get either really like into it and get like riled up or I can say you know what I'm just gonna keep myself um, centered and I'm gonna make sure that I am not falling into the trap of 
getting triggered, being angry, um, just just becoming a little robot and just doing whatever I'm told. Um, so it's very dangerous, guys. And I want you to know that. I want you to really be aware of that, that turn your fucking TVs off and, and turn the news off and think for yourself because it might be good. It might be really good for you to not just believe everything you see on TV, even though it looks so perfect, doesn't it? So, um, yes, that is my advice for you in the new year because I think there's going to be a lot of crazy stuff still be going on. And, I mean, we're already being, you know, told what to think and how to feel and what to buy and um what is true and what is not true right like yeah thank you for telling me the truth <laughs> i don't even have to think anymore um i'm obviously over exaggerating this um and that's also what we need to do more of to just stay sane right um so i want you to really encourage you think for yourself and don't just believe everything you hear just because everybody else believes it or everybody else says it's true you know since when is the only one doctor you would go and get a second opinion or a third opinion you know if you get diagnosed with something so why would we just believe one person saying something um think about these things ah i want to shake you all awake um because it is really crazy and the reason I'm even bringing this up is because I grew up in a socialist country. I grew up in that where you had to whisper because you were saying something that was true but that you were not allowed to say because they don't want you to know that, right? Um, yes, and I escaped it. And I fought for my freedom and I want to keep my freedom and I want to speak my truth. So... Um, very important that we keep that th that right <laughs> in the Constitution, it's a constitutional right that we keep that right. Okay, so don't please don't be so brainwashed by what you hear on TV from the mainstream media because they are all owned by the same people who have the same agendas to control you, to make you a little sheep, and just do as they say to make them. To make you very dependent on them so um that is my message for you guys i want to thank you so much for following me here um for all this time and it's slowly growing i'm doing my podcast which i'm really excited about i have a new episode coming out on friday um and i'm also starting my vocal program next year which is like next week <laughs> um but more about that in the new year, because I really want to finish the, the the old year 2020, which has not been a horrible year for me. Uh, my mom is doing well. Thank you so much for the well wishes. She's doing so much better. She can eat again on her own. She can talk. She can drink by herself. Like every, everything is taken out. She's like totally free of all, you know, equipment that she had on her with her. Uh, for those who have been following me and knew that my mom had was ill earlier this year and I was thankfully be able to be there with her for her um, but I want to finish up this year finishing some music for my patrons and I also have some burlesque shows coming up in the new year so there's a lot of great stuff that's been going on um, that I've been working on and I also want to encourage you and tell you that it's the age of the Aquarian right so it's it's, it's truth is being revealed and more and more people are aware of what's happening. And so don't be surprised if there's things that you hear where you're like, this is crazy or whatever, this is being exposed. This is going to be happening more and more now. So again, stay strong, stay centered and try to control your emotions, try to control your actions, you know, and, and, and focus on you what you can contribute and bring to the table, to the world, um, to make this a better place for you, for your immediate family and friends. Surround yourself with loving people, with supportive people, because we need this more now than ever. Um, because we are being told not to be together, not to come together. And I'm 
very much against that. Um, we all need one another and we all need company. We all need to be social. So make it a point to be social. You can do that safely. Um, if you have issues, I totally understand. I'm not saying be a dumbass and irresponsible, but you know, don't, 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 don't do everything you're told. This is a very dangerous thing in Germany. Um, we do fireworks on New Year's Eve and they are actually um, prohibiting fireworks this year. And this is just insane because you cannot do fireworks in your own home, which is, I mean, I'm, I don't even like fireworks because my dog hates fireworks. So ever since I have bald, I am all against it. Um, and when I say I'm against it, I don't like it. I would never tell someone not to do it. I mean, I think it's stupid, but it's pretty, but it's, it's a waste of money and it's loud and it's obnoxious and people don't know when to stop. Um, but to tell people that they can't do that and people saying, well, this New Year's Eve, I can't do fireworks because I'm not allowed to. <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, look at this irony. It's it's just almost, yeah, it's 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 comedy. Um, it's, it's sad comedy. Does that exist? It's sad comedy um, because it's reality. Um, yeah, it's reality. However, uh, again, I would love to encourage you um, to not just blindly do whatever you're told because people are making up all these laws that are not laws, you know. Um, enjoy your life while you have it. Enjoy your family and your friends, whether it is on Zoom, whether it is on, you know, visiting one another. Um, that's my message for you guys. So I didn't even mean to make it this long. But it happened. Um, I'll see you guys on Friday uh, with another podcast episode. And in the new year, I will start again my song reactions and my voice um, singing program and my three-minute kundalini yoga, which I've been wanting to do and I just haven't gotten a chance to. So that is all coming up in 2021. Age of the Aquarius. Um, we're all coming together more community-oriented. Um, the conscious collective collective consciousness like we are we the people are powerful and tap into your own power own it embrace it live it be it i love you guys so much and i will see you very soon you have an amazing fantastic prosperous healthy happy joyful loving full of kindness and, 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 uh, what's the other word I'm looking for? <laughs> All the good shit, basically, you know what I'm saying? So I wish you nothing but the best, seriously. And I thank you so much for being here with me and for my patrons so much for your support. And I will be back very soon. I love you guys so much. I'll talk to you on Friday or maybe Wednesday. No, on Friday. In the comments below, guys, let me know what do you wish for 2021? What is something that you really, really want to do in the new year? And then, you know what? Write it down and manifest it in the new year. This is the time. Just manifest it. Write it down. But I would love to know. I would love to know. And I don't only wish prosperity and health and happiness and love to you guys. I, I sent this out to the entire planet, the whole world, the whole universe. We all can use more of that positive beautiful, loving, and kind energy. Love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.